All right, so if I want to pull up clips on Synergy, which is a website, which is the best way to do it, um, I can just go to Safari and pull it up, but actually Firefox is gonna be the browser that works better for working with Synergy. So obviously this is King's laptop. He has Firefox right here. If you don't have that, what you can do is just take four of your fingers and pinch them together. It'll bring up kind of these apps options and just come in here and open Firefox up from there. Okay, so to go in, I just Google Synergy Sports Tech Login. And there it is right there. And you're just looking for this right here. Um, that's the login. Uh, as a coach, you will have a login. If you know yours, just go ahead and punch it in. If you don't, get with obviously me, Fane. Or Blake and we can figure that out for you okay that didn't take no big deal we'll just throw it in there that happens a lot there we go okay so once I'm here the first thing I have to do I'm gonna check high quality in browser and when I click on this nothing's gonna happen but I know that I clicked on it all right it says right there you have successfully requested the use of the high quality in browser video player that's perfect that's what I want okay so if I just want to watch Denver offense clips what I can do is I can come up here to team and then once that loads I'm gonna have a set of filters so all I'll have to do is select NBA and then when I have NBA they're gonna give me an option of this regular season playoffs etc so I'll go ahead and click on playoffs to get their most recent game just come down here select Denver and there we go okay so this possessions is what we want it'll just be their offensive possessions obviously if you look up here we could do defensive or cumulative box score, but we just want to watch their offense. So that's what it's going to bring up. Okay, so when we click on possession, what that's going to do is actually load this video in a new tab. And give it a second to load here. All right, so this is obviously your screen. Play and pause are normal as far as just being the space bar. And then I like to watch it like this so I can look down here and kind of see where I am. And obviously it gives you a description of what you're about to watch. Um, when you're watching, you can use these arrows to go to the next clip and the last clip, obviously. If you wanted to watch it in full screen, you'll just click on that. And there you go. And you still have the options, obviously, to play and pause to fast forward right here, uh, to rewind and whatnot, and then to um, go to the next clip, obviously. So I will go ahead and... Um, get out of here real quick. Okay, so that's just if I want to watch their offensive clips. Now, the one disadvantage with this is it only loads 500 of them, and I haven't figured out how to get around that yet, but hopefully in the near future, I will figure out how to get past that. Um, one thing I will explain with these is um, when you load them, it will bring up their most recent game. So this would be a game five loss to LA for Denver, and then the next game it will play would be the game four loss to uh, LA and then the game three win, etc. But it will always play the games beginning to end. Beginning to end, um, most recent, going backwards. Okay, let's say that I wanted to watch a Denver game. Um, what I could do is I can go in here to games and it's gonna be the same thing, just work with my filter. So I'll go to NBA and it will give me the same option over here with regular season playoffs, etc. Okay, now I want to do regular season, and all I have to do is come in here and Denver Nuggets. If I wanted, obviously, I can select a team, but let's say I just want to watch their games in order. Uh, full game is just what it sounds like. If I click on that, it will bring up the full game video. If I go right here to all clips, this will look just like it did with their offensive possessions. All right, so when it pulls up, obviously, it's going to start playing the entire game. The nice thing with this is that uh, let's say we just want to watch the Denver offense what we can do is this is a Denver offense clip um, they go through here now the next clip obviously Denver is going to be on defense but if we just want to watch Denver offense it's real simple we just click to the next clip and now we're watching Denver offense the last thing I'll show you let's say that I just want to watch Nikolai Jokic clips that's the same way super easy I'm gonna come up here to player and I am going to I uh, just work with my filters. NBA, obviously. Um, I want to watch all his clips. So let's go playoffs plus regular season. 
And in the same manner, these will play from his most recent backwards to his least recent um, selected team. I'll go to Denver Nuggets, and when I do that, it'll bring up this select a player option. Um, I'll go right here, Nikolai Djokic, and when I click on him, I have all kinds of options. So the most helpful one is this one right here. Uh, if you just want to watch him on offense, this possessions plus assist is every play that he has a stat on. So it'll be made shots, missed shots, assists, and turnovers. Um, I can click on that and I'll bring it right up. If I want to get even more specific, I can watch just his assists right here. I can come up here and watch his field goals made. That would be field goal capital M right there. And I can do that with all his offense or really any stat I want. Obviously, as you can see, I can do it with defense. I can come in here and pick any stat and do it in cumulative box score. Um, I can watch all his assists. I can watch all his points, etc. So that's synergy and kind of how that works. Hopefully that gives you a good jumping off point. And obviously if you have any questions, just let me know and we can continue to work on it.